So today in this week's snapshot of 21W14A, we got access to some brand new changes involving copper, gold, and iron, and even a change to copper and a change to tough. Now first off, if you enjoy what you see here and you don't want to miss any snapshot videos in the future, then please hit the like button and subscribe if you're new around there and let's get right into the showcase. We're going to begin with the big main feature of today's snapshot, which is a change to ores. Now whatever you end up mining in Minecraft, usually you mine up gold or iron and they will give you the blocks themselves, while redstone, diamond, coal, and emerald would end up giving you self an item. But now, it's actually changed that because if I go and walk over to any of the copper ores or any of the iron or gold ores, then we get ourselves a new item which is called raw iron, raw copper, or raw gold. And this is actually a very big change because a lot of times, as I mentioned, you would come over to one of these three ores and then you just get yourself the block and just the block. Now if you do use silk touch, then you're still going to be able to obtain the block without any problems. But if you have fortune, then you can get more than one, which is actually quite nice. Now a lot of times it will give you just one at a time, as you can see right there. But if I were to mine it again, then sometimes you might get yourself more than one. Sometimes you might get three. Sometimes you might get two. But we got ourselves a lot out of that one. Oh my goodness. But you can tell that mining is going to be a lot better in Minecraft because you can get a lot of gold. You can get a lot of iron and a lot of copper fairly quickly. But I wanted to be more consistent with the other ore types. As I mentioned earlier, the redstone, coal, diamond, and emerald where they just drop the items. So having it this way, it makes things so much better. For every one raw iron, we get ourselves an iron ingot. And the same thing will go for the copper, and the same thing goes for the gold as well. If you were to mine up a bunch of these, then you could literally be getting yourself like a ton of iron, gold, and copper just really, really quickly. And so you can get yourself that iron armor a lot quicker. From those four that we just mined, we got nine raw iron. I've always found myself going way down to the ground just looking for iron or gold and then I only get one at a time and it's just really really annoying and I don't like that whatsoever. But with all that being said, um, that is basically it for what they've done for this feature and we're going to move on to the next one. The next feature that we have is involving tough. Now they made it to where if you're in between layer 0 and 16 then you have a chance of finding blobs of tough around the areas. Kind of how it is for the deep state. Because as you can see we have some spots of deep state around the areas and they made the change if you snapped off back but now they've done the same thing for tough. Now for me this is actually a very well it's a very tough block to find. I mean if you're all the way below their zero and all the way down to negative 64 then you have a chance of finding this a lot commonly but if you're just above their zero and 16 then it's not going to be as common as you might think. From my entire time of exploring this area, I have not found any blobs of tough. Just go way down below their zero and end up finding yourself tough right here because it's just a lot better. Now for a very long time since the introduction of copper, we have all these different wax blocks. But we now have the introduction of four new blocks in here, which is waxed oxidized copper, waxed oxidized cut copper, waxed oxidized cut copper stairs, and waxed oxidized cut copper slab. If I go and place down all these, then you can now go ahead and wax all these different blocks. And you're probably thinking to yourself, why would I ever want to wax a fully oxidized copper block? Well, one of the reasons is that if there's a lightning rod on top of these blocks, whenever lightning comes down and strikes it, then it's going to wash away the oxidation. And I'm guessing that there were a lot of people that didn't want their build to be ruined from their fully oxidized blocks. Because a lot of times people would build a roof and then the lightning strikes down on the lightning rod and then it just changes them back to normal. But now with this new change, this will no longer actually happen. Because the way that Minecraft works is that if you give yourself a waxed copper block, then whenever lightning strikes it, it will not change that whatsoever. It only changes the oxidized regular copper blocks in the cut variants of stairs, slabs, and blocks. That is basically it for everything that we have in this week's snapshot of 21W14A. Are you a fan of the new wax copper blocks? And are you a fan of the new change to copper, gold, and iron? If you enjoyed today's video, then please leave a big fat thumbs up. That'd be much appreciated. 
and subscribe so you don't miss any of these videos in the future. And for now, hope you have a logical day, and I will catch you next time. Goodbye. Mm -hmm.